Peace demands the most heroic labor and the most difficult sacrifice. It demands greater heroism than war. It demands greater fidelity to the truth and much more perfect purity of conscience. Detective Bonesack, you're five minutes early. Oh, you must be the operations manager here. David, right? Well, timing is everything. We've had trouble tracing exactly what files the thieves stole, but it looks like they stole all of our project documents, the safe combinations, and cleaned them out using the computer codes. What project were you working on? We can't share that with you. What do you mean? Your corporate hired me to figure this out. Now you gotta give me all the details. Uh, fine. We're experimenting on a hydro-nuclear power plant whoa, system. Whoa, a water power plant? That'd be huge in an economy. Tons of plans and information that are put in the hands of the wrong type of government would absolutely destroy the economy. And all, and all the other countries would be influenced tremendously. They would rule the world in the industry, and they would pay billions for our project. I hate economics. Anyways, do you have any employee suspects? Well, there were one or two people reported robbers, and we have three employee suspects that all have different motives. Alright, tell me about them. Well, we have Bruce who always is complaining about his job position and the amount of information on the project we give him. He has been constantly asking about the project with the excuse that he wants to contribute more to it, but we've caught him snooping around the file drawers and saves for peeks at top secret stuff. Leonardo has been working with us as our president of the engineer part of the project. He does an amazing job with it, but has a gambling problem and made a few bad investments and now is in very deep debt. The only reason we keep him is because he is a genius, but he has a criminal record and needs money bad. I wouldn't put it past him. Finally, we have Brad. Brad is our chief programmer, but he is heavily nationalistic to his country China and is admitted communist. If you are looking for the robber, then look no further. I am willing to put a lot of money down that Brad is the man you're looking for. I'll investigate this further, and some of you will be brought in. I saw all three of them in the building the night of the robbery. They were the only ones in here. Get back with me. Get back with these guys, detective. Hello? Who is this? Who's calling me? I'm sorry. Better drop this case, or you will die. This is your only warning. Hello, Bruce. I'm the detective for this case. The missing files you were so interested in. Did Brad tell you that? He's a slacker. He's been trying to blame me for things I haven't done. But trust me when I say this, I am not responsible for those files going missing. What were you doing the night you were robbed? I was working late. I had to finish my progress report, and on top of that, I filed some paperwork. You mind if I take a look around your desk then? Um, yes. I, I mean, no. Well, yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's fine. Alright. Brad? I'm Detective Bonesack. I'm on the case for the stolen project. Did you steal it? No. Where were you on the night of the robbery? Where were you? Well, I heard you were originally of Chinese. Correct? Yeah. Would you, ever, would you ever steal from China? I get it. I'm searching your desk and doing a background check on you.
What the? Alright, stop, stop, stop. David. Yeah, be David. David left. What? What? I don't know. What are you doing here all along? I was just getting my documents. I was planning a little vacation. Where are you going? Don't worry about it. Who are you? Do or something? I'm the detective for the stolen files. You're leading on, all right? Where, where, where were you the night of the robbery? Um, I was working on my power plant. Man, you gotta stop asking all these questions. You should just go home. You, you were the robber. Give me those files, Colton. Man, if you get the fuck away from me and I'll leave you alive, all right? Yo, where the hell did you get in the 30 minutes straight? I don't need you anymore. Old sack. We meet again on the opposite side of the battlefield. I thought I got rid of you. You're under arrest for murder, treason, assault, you fool. You've had your days, but now the fuck you Well, did you know I'm trained in martial arts? This should not be a problem. Old faithful will fail me now. everything. All our lives we fought against exalting the individual, against the elevation of a single person, and long ago we were all over and down with the business of a hero. And here it comes up again. The glorification of one personality, this is not good at all. I'm just like everybody else. Hello? I'll be right there.